A lot of people say that if something is stupid, it's as stupid as believing that the earth is flat. Now, I am not a flat earther. I do not believe that the earth is flat. I am an agnostic when it comes to this issue. I do not know if the earth is flat or if it is spherical. There are two reasons that I think it's spherical and five reasons that I think that it's flat. The two reasons that I think that it's spherical are because there are thousands of people working at an organization called NASA for 50 years, maybe 60 years now, maybe 70 years now, who are looking at space all the time, and satellites and things like that. Not one has broken rank and said the Earth is actually flat. You would think out of such a large group of people, at least someone would spill the beans and tell us the truth of what they see on their telescopes or what they see from their satellites and say that the Earth is flat. The second reason is because very smart people, people smarter than me, believe that the Earth is spherical, like Maimonides, who is from I don't know which century, but he was. Uh, they say there was no one as great of a mind as Maimonides uh, going all the way back to Moses. From Moses to Moses... There was never one like Moses. They're, both of their names were Moses. Now, here are the reasons why I think it might be flat and why I'm agnostic on the issue. There are thousands of satellites supposedly circling Earth. And yet, if you go to Google Images, you will find only a handful, maybe five images that are supposed to be real images of Earth and those in those images, the Earth always looks different, different colors, the continents look a little different. Um, they're all different. Why don't we have images coming out all the time from these satellites? I mean, what are these satellites doing if not taking pictures of Earth? I mean, that would seem to be you know one of the main jobs of a satellite. Uh, there should be pictures coming out every day, but there's not. There's some kind of hold on this. There's some kind of blockage. If somebody's holding back pictures of Earth, that's what it seems to be. Um, some have suggested that the quote-unquote real pictures of Earth from space are computer-generated imagery made by a computer like a drawing. There is evidence to this allegation in the sense that in one of the pictures that's supposed to be real of Earth, a word in the cloud appears and the word is sex. So somebody is seems like he's playing a cruel game on us by putting forth a picture that's supposed to be the picture of Earth, and they're mocking us by putting the word sex in the clouds. And they think that we're not going to notice, but somebody did notice. The second reason why I believe the Earth might be flat is because water is always flat. If you've ever had a cup of water, you know that the water always settles into a flat formation. And if the ocean has the same properties as the water in the cup, and I assume all water has the same properties, I'm assuming that the oceans have settled into a flat formation. And if the earth is mostly water, that means that the earth is flat. If water is flat, then the ocean is flat. If the ocean is flat, then the earth is flat. The other proof uh, that I understand about why the earth might be flat is because you can see a building from Chicago over Lake Lake Michigan. That's thousands of miles possibly and it's much too far uh, for a circular spherical earth because uh, from Chicago all the way over to Lake Michigan to the end of Lake Michigan um, if there were curvature then the building would be well below the water line. It would be well below it. Um, the fourth reason why I think the Earth might be flat is because no pilots and no railroad track engineers compensate for a curvature. They make their railroad tracks straight and planes fly straight. Well, if you're on a spherical Earth, what's going to happen if your plane flies straight? It's just going to go off into space. So if you want to stay with the globe, you would have to bend the nose down a little bit to stay with the globe on a curved earth. There are no such adjustments for curvature on railroad tracks or planes. 
uh, or any other transportation that goes over Earth. Anything that goes over Earth is always flat. So it must be that the ground beneath it is also flat. The fifth one is like going to be hard for you to understand because it's just so outside the box. It's just so different from your education. But if you can just step back from your education for a moment, Consider the fact that the earth is not falling. Now, why is that important? If I take a ball and I let it go, it will fall. But the earth is a ball and it's not falling. So why isn't it falling? The only thing that makes sense in this scenario is that the Talmud says that the earth is on foundations. There are like pillars holding up earth and God himself is holding up the pillars. That would make sense. That would not fall. But the fact that the earth is not falling indicates that it is on pillars, not on a spherical globe that is just floating in the air. So to before you discount an idea that seems stupid, you really have to examine is this because of my upbringing? Is this because of what the media has told me? Is this because of other people that I've believed in have told me? They could have taught you wrong. And maybe it's not so stupid. Um, you really need to look at things with an open mind, forget everything else that you've learned, and just be an o open vessel, be a cup that can accept liquid, and examine it with a completely open mind, a completely unbiased mind, and I think you I think you'll come to the conclusion that this is an issue on which we have to be agnostic, on which we have to be unsure of whether it is flat or whether it is round. There are convincing arguments to both directions. So I hope this teaches you, if anything, to be more at peace with others who have different opinions as you. Um, they may come from a different background and you may come from a different background and just because you think you're right and they're wrong, that's probably not the case. You're probably both right in some sense and both wrong in some sense. So everyone out there, get along with each other. Understand that everyone has a different background and you have a bias in that everything that you've learned is leading you to your opinion. You are not looking at it with a completely open mind. You are already locked into certain assumptions. And to be able to look at it accurately, you have to let go of all those assumptions, be willing to change your mind based on the evidence. So I wish us all a brighter, more peaceful world that is easier for us all to live in.